in yellow, he will not be sort of uh, contesting the sprints. And, and in third place is Joey McLaughlin with 15 points. So tonight I hope to sort of have uh, such a large advantage going into London that uh, I'll be safe and green by the, the end of the series. And there's the green jersey of Mike Doyle on the far right of the picture. And during this evening, of course, as always, we'll have three King of the Sprints special sprints. The first five riders over the finish line at the end of the sprint lap will receive points, five down to one. And then those points are accumulated with those that have gone before through the previous five cities of Manchester, Dublin, Cork, Glasgow and Cardiff. And at the moment, Mike Doyle is indeed proving to be a convincing leader of this competition. So Piper holds the pace on the front. Paul Sherwin now moves back in the second slot, wearing the red, white and blue of the British Circuit Race Champion, a title he won just a few days before he went to the Tour de France as a commentator this year in July. So there's Sherwin in white, gives way here to Steve Jockin. Still 55 laps to go, so there's plenty of time left here. This circuit has very often produced a breakaway, those, well that great ride rather of Phil Anderson which we saw as the opening of our program when he lapped the field, there are very few riders can lap the field on these circuits because one thing that everybody has agreed upon in Europe, the British professionals really can ride these city centres like nobody else in the world, and very rarely the speed drops below 27 miles an hour and that makes the attacks very difficult indeed and now we've got one of these workhorses that keeps the pace high for his team in the rally squad this time and that's Paul Watson the former British amateur champion so Watson on the front wearing the blue jersey in second place Steve Jockin the little man from the Isle of Man now living in Staffordshire Watson needs a little bit of help I think he's looking for somebody to come round and there's plenty of volunteers at this stage of the event. Almost swamped there as Joey McLaughlin in white takes the riders through with two laps to go now to the special sprint. And so that means that Mike Doyle, and we can follow him in that green jersey, he will now want to stay at or near the head of this race. This is the important section of the City Centre Championship for Doyle. He's aiming to take that green jersey with him to Westminster next week where the race will finish on Sunday and that promises to be an extraordinary good day out with athletics as well and cycle racing making it a veritable feast of sport down past Downing Street and along Whitechapel. So Joey McLaughlin the early leader of this series the winner at Manchester now on the front